Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we make crypto news simple and exciting. Today we're talking about Cardano, ADA, which has just hit a one month high. But here's the real kicker. There are three major bullish signs that have people thinking an ADA bull run could just be around the corner. Social sentiment is buzzing with optimism right now. The community is fired up and the analysts are pointing at some key signals that could take ADA to new heights. Is this the beginning of something big for Cardano, or should we be cautious about what's coming next? Stick around because we're breaking down all the details, including why these bullish signs matter so much and what they could mean for ADA holders. Let's go. So I always like to start with a price prediction if I can, and this is a really interesting one that actually seems quite feasible. Feasible. And uh, we need to really delve into what this article is telling us and what the sentiment off the back of it means. So uh, AI is uh, predicting that Cardano ADA could reach $1 within the next 6 to 12 months, which I think is actually a realistic time frame, depending on uh, strong buy signals and market support, that is. With Cardano gaining momentum through its DeFi projects and partnerships, this prediction seems feasible, though a bearish market could delay the price target by up to a whopping 18 months. Current technical indicators show neutral sentiment with a greed index reading of 59. Now, do you believe that Cardano can reach $1 within the next six months. Let me know in the comments below and also give me your price predictions. Really interested to get your views and opinions. I think it's rather interesting, but look, let's dig into the sentiment here. This is again, another really bullish article and look, I'm pinching myself a little bit because it's been so negative for so long. It makes me skeptical when I read really positive uh, articles, particularly on Cardano. You know, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you feel the same way with that? Because, you know, it is rather interesting that I feel this way whenever I read positivity about Cardano. But, you know, this is uh, this bullishness is driven by ecosystem growth and technical patterns. And, and this is what the article is trying to tell us here. Now, in my opinion, ADA could see a steady rise if the market conditions remain favorable. But but what I would say is I am still expecting pullbacks in this market. We're not going up in a straight line. And, you know, traditionally, whenever we've seen a Fed pivot, we always, you know, follow that with a crash in stocks and crypto. And if that does happen, I don't think it's going to be the biggest crash in the world because we've actually already seen a significant downtrend and, uh, a, you know, the prices have come down significantly. Right. I want to be quite clear on that. Um, and I don't think we'll be down there that long before we go into this really bullish, you know, uh, market. And I think this is really the start of the biggest bull run in history. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. So the next article talking about Cardano, the fact that it's flashed its strongest buy signal in over a year, with analysts predicting a potential surge of up to 1,200%. This signal is driven by a bullish cross on the weekly MACD, marks a shift in momentum similar to its last major rally. If Cardano breaks key resistance levels, we could see it climb as high as $5, as mentioned in previous articles on other videos. At the top of the cycle, the $5 prediction is right there. But look, what do you think about this? Are you aligned with a $5 um, Cardano, Ada, uh, I, I'm on the fence. I, I think that we could do it, uh, but there's a lot of people talking FUD and, you know, the governance does concern me. But let me know your thoughts and opinions. I would really like to get some discussion going in the comments of this video. But look, what's the sentiment saying? Highly bullish is what it's telling us. With a strong technical indicator back in Ada's upward momentum. And look, we can't not pay attention to, you know, 
indicators and uh, the sentiment has definitely shifted. Uh, in my opinion, if ADA continues this trend, expect a parabolic rise. Well, the things that we are looking for, and particularly what I'm looking for, is whale activity, because that normally signals that we are expecting big price movements to the upside. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. So even more positive news, and look, I just want to take everybody's memories back to just three, four weeks ago. It was so bearish, you know, uh, Cardano was dying, it was dead. Uh, it was, you know, a, a sell, not a buy. And then like, you know, fast forward to today, it's going to go parabolic and, you know, reach new all-time highs and, and so on. But look, let's sort of delve into it, to what's going on here. We've got Cardano, ADA, uh, could potentially reach a $500 billion market cap, according to a crypto analyst. Look, you can guess who this crypto analyst is. I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, they they claim they are uh, very much um, supportive of Cardano, yet they don't really go to any um, Cardano events. Never seen them at one. And ultimately they're draining in my opinion anyway it looks to me like they're just draining liquidity out of the cardano ecosystem through stake pools but look uh, i digress this is an ambitious target uh, that hinges on cardano following ethereum's historic growth trajectory uh, and gaining significant market share and most people would say that this isn't possible right and uh I, I don't know. Like, I think Cardano for the for the long term is is a really really big uh, and you know strong play. While they say that this is a long shot, the analyst believes a combination of high adoption, positive market narratives, and key developments could push Ada to these levels. Uh, so I'm like really interested to get your views and opinions. Do you agree that you know we could see a 500 billion dollar market cap? for Cardano, ADA. Uh, really interested to get your views and opinions on that. I mean, if we actually get um, the, the market cap for Cardano up on the screen right now, let's just do that. I probably should have prepared this a little bit better. We are at what, 13? Like it's it's multiple Xs. And yeah, I, I, I do think that it would be rather interesting to see that sort of number but you know let me know your thoughts and opinions uh, the sentiment for this article is bullish again uh, but also you know an air of uh, cautiousness with a focus on market adoption and competition learn like if we really talk about things factually uh, in my opinion at least um, cardano really hasn't had the adoption it hasn't had the adoption because it's not easy to to you know for developers to to utilize and until that changes it's not really going to compete with the likes of ethereum uh, and solana and various others right um speeds there you know the securities there the um i guess functionality um the ability to um you know, I guess what I'm trying to poorly articulate is it's future proofed, whereas a lot of these other blockchains aren't. So long term, I think is a really you know good play. But yeah, you know, it's just my opinion. Uh, I think that you know it depends on you know ecosystem growth and whether it can uh, you know outperform its rivals. And at the moment, there isn't really a great deal of uh, signs that demonstrates that it can. But I do think that it's going to take multiple cycles for Cardano's true value to actually get to to, to the top of the pile. And uh, I do think that that will happen. It's just whether, you know, time is, you know, something that you've got on your side. Moving on, Cardano ADA reaches one month high with three major bullish indicators pointing to a potential bull run. First, a surge in the large transactions over 100K is a strong investment investor interest totaling 6.6 billion dollars in just 24 hours second cardano's nvt ratio suggests ada is undervalued signaling potential rallies however the rsi spiking to 81 indicates overbought conditions suggesting a possible short-term correction before a bigger move to the upside What's your thoughts and opinions? Do you agree with what's being articulated in this article? Really interested to get your views 
and opinions. But look, let's have a look at the sentiment and what it's telling us in this article. Uh, cautiously bullish with the possible uh, or possibility, I should say, of a short term pullback. Look, I've talked about this earlier in the video. I do expect some, you know, pullbacks. We're not going to go up in a straight line. Uh, so my opinion, uh, again, I've said this a few times, expect a pullback. Uh, and, you know, this is what we've seen after every um, Fed pivot. Uh, and then we're, you know, going to go right into the bull market. And I think it's going to be the biggest bull, bull market in history. Uh, so, yeah, look, does does this article align with me? Yes, it, it aligns with my narrative. But let me know. What's your thoughts? What's your opinions? Let me know in the comments below. So I saved this article to the very end. It's probably the most important part of this video. And look, it's massively overlooked. Uh, we made some really bold and big uh, predictions back in 2020. We talked about AI back then. We talked about real world assets and talked about how big those sectors are going to be. We maybe a year, year and a half ago, uh, were fortunate to sit down and interview Charles as he announced Midnight and what it was. And look, this is the, the next part of what is required to bring in mainstream adoption. And it's Look, it's one of the biggest sectors, one of the biggest future sectors in the crypto space. Mark my words, you don't want to be missing this. So look, pay attention to, to this article because you're not going to want to, you know, not know what Midnight is and what's going on here. So look, Cardano is making waves with the latest privacy focused sidechain project called Midnight. Uh, this innovation aims to balance privacy with regulatory compliance using zero knowledge cryptograph, making transactions private yet transparent, which is really interesting. Midnight uses two tokens, the Night token for governance and dust for gas. With real time block syncing and a stable network, the project is set to revolutionize data security in the blockchain space. Look, I always kind of articulate this in a way that you know it, i guess is a little bit easier for people to to understand right you to, to bring in businesses like traditional businesses you don't like as a, as a business owner you wouldn't want your uh, purchases to be transparent on the blockchain you wouldn't want your competitors seeing who you're buying from what you're paying for those uh, items uh, you know it just wouldn't be good for business right and same with banking like as a, an individual you don't want everybody seeing all of your purchases you don't want people seeing you know how much money you've got or haven't got how debt you are, uh, debt you're in, like you don't want people seeing this stuff. And then you've got your medical sector, right? If you want to bring in, you know, hospitals and the data from from the medical industries, you know, again, you need to decide who sees your, you know, medical history and who doesn't. So, you know, having a compliant privacy project where you know you hold your data. And you can choose who you know you unmask it for and who you don't unmask it for is you know the only way that blockchain actually becomes you know mainstream fully, right? So until that happens, you can't have blockchain go mainstream. Like that's my opinion. That's how I, I view things. So you need a compliant privacy layer. And that is what Midnight is bringing to the table. And it's, they're not the only ones doing it, don't get me wrong, but like it is the next step. So we're not going to get mainstream adoption, everybody using it, your nan using it, your mum's using it, your dad's using it, until we've got a compliant privacy project uh, or layer for blockchains. And actually I talked to a lot of foundations, some of the biggest projects in the blockchain space, and they're not really forward thinking enough uh, for you know this sort of uh, aspect of things. They're really thinking about this bull run and they're not looking at uh, any further forward. And that's one of the things that I really like about um, Cardano. Uh, Aptos is another one very forward thinking about this stuff and uh you know you need to be forward thinking if you want to be you know successful long term but you know let me know your thoughts and opinions on midnight the impact on the cardano ecosystem let's discuss it in the comments below join us in the free discord give me your views your opinions i'm quite happy to give you my views and opinions but look the sentiment for this article is the development brings exciting showcasing cardano's innovation and edge in the blockchain privacy space i think that it's a really big deal. 
in, you know, in, in essence, this is an essential layer for mainstream blockchain adoption. You can't have mainstream adoption for blockchain without this solution. And that is why I bring it up. And this is why I said it's the most important part of this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and I will catch you in tomorrow's video.